Hi everyone, another uh, quick video in the Shelley EM uh, energy monitoring series. Uh, I've been running this now for a few weeks or so. A few people have asked me if I could do a quick video on the web interface and some of the settings. So I've had a chance to play around with that for a while. So I thought I'd do that quickly for everybody. So this is the interface on the device itself. So local interface on your local area network, not uh, on the Shelly uh, cloud. So this is the local interface. So to do that, first thing you need to do is visit the local IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.1. So this is the web interface. So just at the top quickly, uh, there's a cloud which is in red, which means I'm not connected to the Shelly cloud. The green Wi-Fi signal means it's connected by Wi-Fi to my local area network. And the red padlock means I've not set a password for this interface, which you can do. Um, I don't think I need that. Then at the top here uh, is the name that I've given to the device, Shelly EM Power Monitor, and you can change that in the settings. Uh, it's got two energy monitoring channels. So here on the left, I've called this one house, and then the one on the right is outside. I've got two consumer units. So each of these channels is one on each of those units. It's daytime now, so outside. Uh, I use mainly for lights, so you'd expect that to be zero watts. Currently in the house, I'm uh, consuming 320 or 330 watts. You can change these in the settings, the headings for each of the channels, and we'll do that later. I'm in the UK, so my voltage is 240 volts AC. Uh, if you're elsewhere, that might show yours, which would be different. The Shelly device itself does have an internal switch, so you could use this to power things on or off. Uh, so you can see here, this is off, just click it, it will go on. I haven't got that connected, I don't use that. I can't see a use case for me for that. I've just got this tucked away in a box. If you saw my previous video, uh, it's in a, um, a little um, safety box hidden away uh, by the consumer unit. And then at the bottom here, these are the uh, access points for the various settings. There's a timer and schedule which you can use to turn the device on and off or the switch on and off. I don't use that, so I'm not going to go into those. So the first one I do is internet and security. I think I covered some of this in a previous video, but here you can set up uh, the um, Wi-Fi device that it's going to connect to. So mine goes to my 2G. I put all my IoT devices on a 2G network and then the rest of the home goes on a 5G network. So here you can you can search for an SSID and put your password in. You can also set a static IP address here on the Shelly device. I've chosen to set my static uh, address on my router itself. So I've not ticked that, but it is a static uh, IP address. You can also have a backup if you want to. So if you've got another access point, you can enable a backup mode and then you can enter in a Wi-Fi name and password for that. So if one um, SSID goes down and you've got another one, it will connect to that automatically, uh, which I think is quite handy. Also, as I said before, you can restrict login. So mine's just open. Anyone on my local area and access network uh, can access this web page. But if you want to, you can open this up and you can enter a username and password. Uh, so if you need to do that, you can do that. Um, then I think the other useful one is uh, in settings on the far right here. This is where the main settings are for the device. So you can have a power on default mode. So I've selected off. So this configures the shared device to turn off when it has power. So you want that. So if the house has a power cut and then comes back on by setting this device, um, it will uh, reboot automatically. But this is for the switch, I should say. So, I mean, I don't want that, so I don't need that. Um, the current and transformer type. So this is two channels. Uh, I'm measuring um, 100 amp uh, rated meter tails to both of my consumer units. So I got the 120 amp um, transformers. So you just enable which one of these you want to use. If you've got the smaller one, go for 50 amp. I've got the bigger one, so 120. So that's setting that. 
Uh, you can also turn the LED lights on or off. So on the device, there's a little blue light that flashes uh, and then goes constant when it's connected to Wi-Fi. If you've got the device exposed and the light might be a bit ignore, uh, annoying, you can disable that. As I say, mine's tucked away in a little box. I can't see it anyway, so I've just left that on. Here's where you can check for a firmware update. Uh, I've got the latest version, uh, but if you didn't, you can do a, a manual update here. It just takes a few seconds, sometimes a minute to do. You can also go for a beta version if you want to, but I've uh, elected to stay with the stable version. Time zone and geolocation. So if you do this automatically, it will just get this off your Wi-Fi network. But if you wanted to do it manually, you can deselect this and then you can go through and you can select your location. But mine works perfectly automatically. Here's the device name. So here I've called it Shelly EM Power. If you remember at the top, it says Shelly EM Power. So here you can just set whatever name you want to call it. And here's the channel name. So for each of those current transformers for each of the two here, if you remember, I've got one called house and outside. This is where you can change that. So under channel one, you can see there I've just called it house. So if you just type in what you want and press save and then equally for channel two, which I've got outside, you can just type in a name and press save. Um, you can erase your energy data if you want, set the time and date. I don't need to do that. If you've selected auto time and geolocation, then you do not need to touch this. But if you've gone for a manual setup, then you can come in here and set the year, month, date and time. So I don't need to do that. Um, you can do a complete factory reset if you want. You can do, uh, reboot the device, make it discoverable, which obviously you do want to make it discoverable so you can find it on your network more easily. And there's an eco mode, so that's quite interesting. So I've got eco mode detected. If you look in the instructions or on the Shelly website, it does say it might make the device um, a little bit less um, uh, fast to respond um, to commands, but I haven't found that at all. So I've got mine in eco mode, uses less energy, but there's no lag at all that I find when using the device. So I've left that on eco mode. If you find it's a little bit laggy, then maybe switch that off. I don't know the differences between power consumption when in eco mode or non eco mode. So I'm not quite sure about that. And then lastly, you've got device info. So this gives you the device ID, uh, tells me which Wi-Fi it's connected to. So as I said earlier, that's my 2G network. And then you've got the uh, signal strength. Mine's tucked away in a cupboard at the opposite end of the house to my router. So to get that kind of signal strength, I'm, I'm really pleased. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think it's a really nice, straightforward uh, web interface. As I say, this is the one for the local area network. It will be different if you connect this to the cloud and use the Shelly app it would be completely different. I think the advantages of the Shelly app uh, is the fact that you can uh, accumulate um, power consumption over time. I think the device has enough memory on it to store a year's worth of power consumption. If you use the local area access uh, interface that I'm using now, it only ever shows you real time um, power consumption, not cumulative. So I think I will probably connect to the Shelly app or perhaps I'll connect it to um, my smart hub and then use something like Grafina um, to sort of show graphically power consumption over time. But as I say, um, I think the interface is great. I've been playing with it now for a few weeks. It's very easy to use. And so recommend you just to explore it see what the settings do that's what i've done i haven't really looked at any instructions i just played around with the settings see what it does and then set it how i uh, how i want it best anyway i hope that helps i'll probably do uh, a couple more videos on shelly over time probably uh, when i connect it to the cloud or connecting it to my smart hub and do some graphing of power consumption uh, on a daily weekly monthly basis etc anyway i hope that helps if it does um, please consider subscribing and of course hit that notification button so we see each other in the next video take care everyone